Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to make a little measuring spoon, like a quarter teaspoon, out of this bone antler. And um, let me explain to you how I come to that conclusion. I was going to make, I am making, a little spice set, uh, you know, to take out into the uh, woods with me. And um, I wanted to get a little spoon that would fit into the bottle. So the opening, I didn't even have the bottles yet, but I got the measurements. The inside is going to be about a half an inch. And then it opens up to about three quarters of an inch. So I need to get something in there to be able to fit into that half an inch. So I said, oh, maybe I can make something out of metal or wood or something. And then I saw this piece of antler from a previous project I did. And I kind of looked at it and I saw the spoon in there. I know that may sound a little weird, but when you do carvings and stuff, you kind of see something in it, and then you bring it out. So, let me get my Dremel. This is going to pretty much all be done with the Dremel and the polishing wheel. And uh, we're going to get at it. As you can see here, I started to draw a little outline of kind of what I wanted to make sure it would fit on there. And um, I pretty much freehand it, and uh, we'll see how it comes out. So give me a second to set that up, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I have my, I know I keep calling it a Dremel, but this one's a Craftsman rotary tool. Um, never actually owned a Dremel, uh, but I've owned two of these. The first one was called a Little Crafty. And boy, I, I must have had that thing for 20-something years until it died out. But So this is a Sears Craftsman roto tool. And I have a couple different bits. This one's a round one. This one's a uh, triangular shape. Then I have a couple sanding discs. So I'll just play around with this and see how they uh, perform. I think I'm gonna switch over to the sanding drum and see if uh, that'll work a little better. Give me one second. All right. Got my sanding drum on there. Let's see how it goes. All right, it's coming along nicely. You can see that little uh, measuring spoon in there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I got a little less than half an inch, which I think I do. I'll refine this as I go, but I'm going to try to put the uh, the bowl part in now before I continue on um, in case it breaks or it doesn't come out good. So um, it's going to be a little tricky. Uh, I never really did one of these before, so we'll see how it comes out. But um, let me just get a ruler and uh, double check that width. All right, well, just a little, a hair over a half an inch. So we'll give this a little refinement and uh, then we'll start the bowl. All right, we're just at uh, a half inch. So now if you had a, um, if you were doing this uh, with wood, you'd have some type of uh, hook knife or something to get in there, although it's very tiny. But uh, we'll see how this goes with this little bit here. Let's see if it works out okay. All right, that's working great. So I'm going to finish this off camera. You don't have to watch me do the whole depth there. Once I get this to the correct depth, I'll bring you back and we'll finish smoothing it out and uh, see how she looks. All right, so I got a nice depth on that bowl there. 
going to refine the outside a little bit more. Put a smaller drum on there. That popped right off. That's a sign to change that back to the big one. Scared me. <laughs> okay, coming out nicely. So I'll do a little bit more refining uh, for this, clean up a little bit of this dust. We'll get some hand sanding on it and then uh, we'll continue on. So let me just get a little bit more refining on here. It's a little easier if I hold it in my lap instead of under the camera, but you, you definitely see where we're going with that. Got a really cool little measuring spoon. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm happy with that shape. Hopefully you can see how I saw that in the, um, the piece of antler. So now it's hand sanding until I get this to about a 500 grit. So I won't bore you watching me hand sand it, but I'll come back when um, I have it all sanded up. And then we'll uh, take it over to the wheel and we'll give it a polish. All right, so I got it down to 500 grit. Took it to exactly where I wanted it. Left a couple little little imperfections in there where the antler was. And it came out nice. Um, it's I don't think it's a quarter teaspoon. I think it's probably a little bit shy. Um, but we'll measure that after we polish it up. So let me bring you over to the polishing wheel and uh, we'll get this, get a little shine going. All right, so I have my little polishing wheel that I made here. Um, just a couple quick things. Uh, if you happen to have one like I do, it rotates in both directions, okay? If I start it off like this, that's the way it goes. If I turn it on like that, that's the way it goes. So just be cognizant of which way the wheel is turning because you always want it to turn towards you and down. Because if it gets, any, whatever you're working on gets caught on it, you don't want it to grab it and throw it in your face. So you're going to need some polishing compound. This is... Um, brown triple E. This is for like plastic and bone and aluminum. Okay, so you want to make sure you have the right compound. So um, let's get our shine on as Dan from Home in the Sticks would say and get this polished up. All right, so you get the idea. I'm going to give that a few more minutes. The uh, make sure I got all the little scratches out. I'm not sure if you can see the shine, but we'll get it set up and take a final look at it. All right, I got it out to the sunlight here. Hopefully, you can see the shine off of it. Dan, I know you can. So um, it came out really nice. Got a couple little imperfections uh, in the bowl there. It's part of the antler, um, but uh, all in all, I'm very very pleased with it. Hopefully, you could see the. Uh, the shape that was in there and what it turned out to be. Give yourself a little try and see what you can come up with. So thanks everyone. I really appreciate your views. I appreciate your comments. I hope you're having a great day and we'll see you on the next one.